We usually think of cement as just an industrial commodity, but it's in fact made of things that come from ecosystems. It's water, sand, rubble, and lime. And in most times and places, you might just go and buy a bunch of bags of cement and mix it all together and lay it. But on a little island like Ofu, you gotta think about where all this cement comes from. The water comes from the streams, the sand comes from mining the beaches, and so does the rubble. And on some islands, they'll even mine the reef rock, take big boulders, big coral heads, bring them up to shore, and burn them down to lime in order to make the cement. So the stuff that's in the cement has got to be pulled out of this environment, but it's not all in the same balance. The water replenishes quickly, the sand and the rubble that are mined off the beaches can come back at a slower rate than the water, but they can come back. But the lime, if you mined it off the reef, would only very slowly come back. In any kind of project like this, or, or anything really we do around the world, some elements are replenished quickly, but the limiting factor are the things that are replenished very slowly. Now this island can import the lime that it wants. It can import the limiting factor but we can't do that for the whole planet. We're stuck with this world and we have to make sure that we're using resources at only the same rate that they're being replenished. That's the fundamental balance that we try to achieve for ecological sustainability, using resources at the rate at which they're able to be replenished so that those resources are always available. We have to make sure that what we're really doing is pulling from them, especially the limiting factor, at a rate that they can sustain. And if we go over that limiting factor, then that's when the ecosystem begins to collapse.